Welcome to the calendar tutorial for creating, editing, and sending questionnaires. We'll begin here within a patient profile and then click on the questionnaires tab. From there, we'll go ahead and select new questionnaire. You can also select that from the action menu as well. We'll start here and take us into the uh, patient questionnaire screen. From here, you have some options. You can, uh, of course, uh, select from a specific bundle. So if you wish to um, group your questionnaires, uh, you can certainly do so, and then you can pick multiple at one time, right? So for example, if I select a new patient, it automatically selects three, because that's part of the questionnaire bundle. I should note that questionnaire bundles can be created under administration and then questionnaire bundles. So for example, if for a new patient, it can speed up the process, you know the specific uh, questionnaires that you wish to be added each time, okay? Or if you don't have that, that's fine too. You can go ahead and add them on the fly. Now, one thing you'll notice is that as you select the questionnaire, it'll move it to the top of the list. So they, they will be presented to the patient in whatever order uh, you click on those options. I should mention that just above here, of course, you have the option of uh, potentially changing the clinic if needed. You also could change the provider if needed. So this would be the information uh, that would display in the questionnaire uh, and, and viewed by the patient, of course. All right, now we have some options down here. Once you have selected your questionnaires, let's go ahead and just say, we'll stick with the adult and uh, we'll just do the one questionnaire here. Um, so you have some options. You, you can view this online. This is going to be used when uh, the questionnaire is being completed in-house, meaning the patient is in the clinic. Uh, they, you may be handing them a tablet computer or you may set them up with a workstation like a laptop or desktop to complete the questionnaire. Ultimately, you may have your staff assisting with that process. So uh, a staff member sitting with the patient, collecting answers and entering them directly into the questionnaire on behalf of the patient. Okay. Uh, the second option here is the questionnaire can be assigned via the patient portal. So if you do have patients that log in via the patient portal, uh, then they can access these questionnaires, complete them, and submit them. Right, very streamlined. The last option here is the send email. So this is where on demand, you can go ahead and send an email. Now, uh, this patient does not have an email address entered. That's fine. If they did, it would autofill. Um, but since there isn't one, we can go ahead and enter one on the fly. So that's perfectly fine. Um, now, instead of having to uh, kind of type out a full email uh, with subject and text and everything, you can choose from the preset templates. Of course, you can have multiple preset templates. You can edit these uh, to look however you wish. Now, with this outbound email, you also have the option of it, uh, including an attachment. So if you wanted to have maybe like an image of um, the, the layout of you know the streets around your clinic so people had easy access to finding parking or something. Or you're sending out a questionnaire regarding a patient's upcoming VNG, and you also want to send out some instructions you know, for the days leading up to that VNG. Um, now, this is automatically checked. This is to add a note to the patient recording that an email has been sent. Typically, you would just leave that, right? And what will happen is it'll put a note in the patient's profile so later on you can look back and see when the email was sent and what the contents of the email uh, was at that time, okay? Uh, so now we have this all in place. We're going to go ahead and click continue, and that will now send out uh, the email with the question, link to the questionnaire to the patient. If we look back in the patient profile, we'll see two things. First off, any questionnaires that were created and sent as part of this will display here, okay? Um, also, that note I made regarding the email is here as well. So you can always bring this up and view the email that was sent, right? And you also can see if the patient received it, if they opened it, right? Um, now, it's important to note as part of the process for creating the questionnaire, um, or creating questions, I should say, a counselor can work with you directly to create your questionnaires uh, custom, right? So the ones I'm showing you here are kind of the standard ones we have in the system. You can certainly edit, you know, the adult patient intake, the pediatric, et cetera, or a counselor can assist you with building your own questionnaires in. So that way you can see and provide the questionnaires that you want. And as I mentioned, you can also bundle those uh, to make those simpler. An additional option is that when you have questionnaire bundles in place, uh, you can then use those and connect them to uh, automated uh, messaging from counselors. So for example, when an appointment is scheduled, uh, the patient can receive an appointment notification email right away, uh, letting them know, of course, all the details of their appointment. And then right along with that, there can be a link in that appointment notification email that the patient can complete and uh, click, I apologize, and complete their questionnaires. The questionnaire completion is fully online. Uh, this is basically what the patient would see. Right, so they go through, and of course, it'd have your logo a little prettier at the top here, but they can go through the specific questions that you have for them. 
Uh, if you have like demographics related questions on here as well, so the patient's you know, phone number and address and email address and those types of things, they'll be able to view the information you already have entered for them and modify it. So if they want to tweak their phone number, they can, right? That you could have it at the bottom where they could sign their, their HIPAA notice, for example. If they try to submit a questionnaire and they haven't answered a required question, and of course you can define which questions are required, they'll get a notice letting them know, hey, they need some, you know, uh, you fill in a few more answers here before they can submit this questionnaire, okay? Um, but ultimately, once they have finished their questionnaire questionnaires, you'll see this complete, and you can see a PDF where you can view all of their responses in preparation for their encounter. Well, of course, you also can have that open when you're actually sitting there and chatting with the patient. This entire process is completely paperless, okay? So the process for uh, hopefully creating, uh, viewing, and sending questionnaires is a quite a simple one. Um, like I said, we can assist you with getting your questionnaires built and helping with any automation related to the automatic um, um, patient notification emails. So, of course, if you have any questions about this, give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you for joining us for the counselor tutorial on creating, viewing, and sending questionnaires.